Rocco came into our offices um, because of his mom. Actually, his mom undertook a program and she wanted to incorporate her whole family into this new lifestyle. And uh, she brought him in. And he was the very first individual that we had that was actually uh, wheelchair bound. Uh, didn't really see that it was going to be a big challenge, but I knew that it was going to be something that was well worth um, taking care of as he's a 12 year old kid and uh, really uh, motivated to change. So he came into the program with his mom. He spent uh, 16 weeks with us and um, he made these amazing, amazing changes. And if there's anything I was going to say about his changes is that they are so monumental and so inspirational because the fact that he is 12 years old and in a wheelchair and he has more than anyone else an excuse on why he couldn't accomplish something. This 12 year old kid did more than some adults that are able bodied did. So what I say to Rocco and what people should really be paying attention to is this kid is an inspiration. This kid needs support now because he is offering his own support in his own testimony with his physical change. And I think that you know, as people, when we see a kid like this who kind of seems to come up on the short end of the stick, he doesn't. He doesn't need anyone to feel sorry for him. He doesn't need anybody to look down on him. Only that we would look at him and just look at him with pride and, and, um, and acknowledgement for the simple fact that he's done nothing but make huge, powerful changes. And for that, he's my hero. And for sure, for as long as I do what I'm doing, I will be talking about him to all the people that I know because it's people like him that give our program the name that we